caption of this, uh, this reflection today is, uh, see something, say something. And this is a text of statement by Citizens Initiative for Security Awareness, CISA, on the imperative of citizen support to our security forces by way of information sharing. Gentlemen of the press, you are welcome to this World Press Conference by CISA. We shall be looking at the importance of passing security information to our fighting forces. We will cap it up with a, with a clarion call on citizens to say something when they see something. Now, media reports were rife yesterday that the A component of Operation Hadarin Daji, that is the, operation, uh, that is the military operation ongoing in the northwest of this country, that they, 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 they decimated yet another armed bandit, uh, bandits camp in the Domburu forest area in Zamfara State. The air strike, we understood, was executed on Sunday, 13 September 2020, as part of a new subsidiary operation target, Wutandaji 2. And this resulted to the killing of several armed bandits belonging to the gang, led by a certain character called Dangote. We also understood that the target was designated to attack after human intelligence, what we call HUMINT, reports, as well as series of confirmatory aerial surveillance, indicated that Dangote and some of his members, along with their logistics items and hostile livestock, had established a new camp at the southern edge of the forest. The air component promptly dispatched an enhanced force, packaged by the Nigeria Air Force fighter jets and helicopter gunships to attack the locations. Now, the attack aircraft and ground troops of the Nigerian Army engaged the target area, scoring accurate hits and taking out several bandits, while some of their structures were seen engulfed in flames. Sources later revealed that several of Dangote's followers were neutralized in the course of the attack. <clears throat> now, gentlemen of the press, we are sharing this report because there are two very significant things in the story that are germane to the successful battle against terrorism, banditry, and other violent crimes in our country. One is the fact that our ground troops and air power have found an almost perfect synergy, which has continued to yield positive results. We are indeed proud of this development, and we, uh, we felicitate with our gallant troops operating on the ground and in the air for their accomplishments. We are confident that their gallantry, their resilience, their commitment to duty, their sense of purpose, and their determination to succeed will ultimately give them victory over the forces of darkness. The second, and even more important, is the role played by human intelligence reports in the successful execution of the operation. CISA gathered that the human intelligence reports that led to this successful operation were processed from the information given to the troops by patriotic citizens in that locality. This news has once again brought to mind CISA's constant appeal to Nigerians that all of us have one patriotic role or the other to play in the fight against terrorism and banditry in our country. For us in CISA, the battle against the enemies of our country is not the battle for our soldiers alone. All of us men and women of goodwill have a role to play in the, in the defense of our dear country from the machinations of the adversaries. Passing useful information to our fighting forces that will help them take out the enemies is a noble and patriotic thing to do. In so doing, you would have contributed your own quarter in the war against those who are intent on destroying our country. On the other hand, willful concealing of information that otherwise would have helped our security forces in their battle is not only unpatriotic, but a clear sabotage and crime against our country. We therefore urge Nigerians, particularly those in the areas where terrorist activities and banditry are happening, to remain observant and vigilant and endeavor to say something when they see something. CISA wishes to reiter uh, reiterate that what our military and all other agencies that are engaged in the counter-terrorist operation and other internal security operations across the country need at this moment is unwavering public solidarity and support. <laughs> Apart from ensuring 
that their morale is boosted and their fighting spirit up at all times, we must also support the efforts, we must also support their efforts with useful and timely information that will assist them to defeat our adversaries. That is our patriotic duty as citizens of this great country. Thank you for listening. So it's quite a short one, so, but uh, you know, as we, we do it, if you have anything to ask or clarification to